guess they're gonna draw a squirrel skein. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your art supplies. We're using markers to draw with, but you can use whatever you have. You could also use a pencil first if you want, and then use the markers. You also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? <laughs> yeah. Because we're using our markers to draw with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. This helps keep our markers lasting longer and also protects our table. Let's start by drawing a little squirrel's nose right in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw an oval shape or kind of a small circle right there. Yeah. And then we can draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw a little curve comes out to the left and also out to the right. Then we can also draw the little mouth underneath or the tongue. And next, let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left and the same size circle on the right. Yeah, there you go. And then we can also add that little highlight to make the eyes shiny. We'll draw a smaller circle on the top left and then color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Okay, now we're ready to draw the squirrel's head. Let's start with the cheeks. I'm gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw a little curve that comes out, and then we're gonna come under, and then we'll come back up. We've got a little chubby cheek. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love the cheeks. Yes. Oh, and I love that you added another cheek on the oh, other yeah. side. That's awesome. Then we're gonna draw the top of our little squirrel's head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up, over the eyes, and then we're gonna come back down and connect. But you could create this same curve right here to come down and connect to the other cheek. On yours, you could even add a little extra cheek line right here coming in, just like this side. That way they match. Yes, that looks awesome. It looks really cute. Now let's draw our little squirrel's hat. We're gonna draw the bottom of the hat first. We'll draw a line that comes up comes up and out, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Curve up and out. Yes, there you go. And then we're gonna draw the top and connect, and I'm matching the same curve on the forehead. So these two lines look the same. Yeah, and then we're gonna draw the top of our little stocking hat or ski hat. Now we're gonna draw our little squirrel's ears. We're gonna draw them coming out of the hat. So I'm gonna draw an upside down U on the left and also over here on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is looking really cute. Now we're gonna draw on the inside of our squirrel's ear. I'm gonna draw a little S curve like that and then we'll do another S curve but going the other direction on the other side. All right, now we need to draw a little pom-pom on top of our ski hat. I'm gonna draw a bumpy line that comes up, over, and then back down. <laughs> I love how tall you're. It looks like one of those Lego characters <laughs> with the beanie on top. Yeah, you know? On the very top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I like your pom-pom, it's super tall. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Now let's draw our little squirrel's body and also arms. I'm gonna start right here. We're gonna draw really short and cute arm. I'm gonna draw, God, it almost looks like you're gonna draw a circle, but we're not gonna connect it over here. This is our little squirrel's hand, and we can draw two little finger lines. And then we're gonna draw the rest of the arm coming back like this, and then curving up for the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, we could also add a scarf. I'm gonna draw a little curve here. And then let's draw our squirrel's belly. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down like this. And we're gonna stop right underneath the hand or arm. Okay, now let's draw our squirrel's leg. We're gonna curve around, connect to the belly. And then we're gonna come up like this and into our little squirrel's arm. Yeah, keep going. And then up. Perfect. And then let's draw the other leg that's over here. We're gonna add ski boots. And then let's draw the other arm sticking out. We're gonna draw the same kind of shape right here. We're gonna draw coming around like this and then back up. Nice. Then we could draw the two little finger lines.
Now let's draw our squirrel's ski boots. We're going to draw a curve that comes under like this and then back up. And let's match that same detail over here too. Then we're going to draw the feet for the boots coming out like this and down. Then we're going to come back and then connect up to the leg. Then let's do that same shape over here for the same for the other boot. And we're going to make that same curve coming out and down for the feet. Then we'll curve back and then up and connect. Yeah. All right. Now we need to add the skis. We're going to start here and let's draw a line that comes out from the boot. And we're going to imagine that going behind the boot also. So we're going to draw coming through and back. Okay, now we're ready to draw the other side of the ski and we're going to draw it right next to the foot. And then we want it to match these two lines that we also drew. So we're going right next to each other parallel. Yeah. Okay. And then back here, let's connect the back of the skis. And then the front of the skis always curve up. So let's draw a curve it comes up like this and then we'll come back down. Now let's repeat those same steps for the other ski. So we're going to draw this line coming out and we want it to be the same length as this one. So we're going to use our eyes to measure. I think mine needs to be a little bit longer. So it should go out past the ski as well. So you might want to come out to even way out oh, to wow. here. Yeah. Okay. So you're looking you could even use a ruler if you wanted to, but you're measuring this line with your eyes and then trying to get that same length here. Oh. Yeah. And then we're going to use the same this same line right here, measure that and then put that here. It should just run it into the leg. And mine might even yeah, be even shorter than yours. Now we're ready to draw the other side, this line right here, but we're going to draw it here. We're going to come across and then stop. This part's kind of tricky, but you're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, because you can't see the back of this ski, we'll just leave it. But let's draw the front curving up just like we did for the other one and then back down so it matches. Nice. Now we need to draw the ski poles. Let's draw two lines coming down or we could just draw one like this. I'm going to draw another one right next to it so it's thicker. Then let's draw the other ski pole coming out this way. At the end of the ski pole, we're going to draw an oval shape. Then we could also draw the little point sticking out past it. Let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to draw this one actually really squished. So really it's looks like it's squished this way a lot more. And then we can draw another point sticking out past that too. We're almost done, Hadley, except it just looks like a little chipmunk. What are we missing? The tail. Yeah, big bushy tail. Let's draw one line coming out like this. We're going to curve up one direction. Then we're going to come up a little higher. And then right at the end, let's curve around into a swirl. Yeah, and then right here, let's curve out of the hat. We'll curve around almost all the way to the edge of the paper and then back into that first line. We did it. We finished drawing our squirrel skiing. It looks really cute, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this part will fast forward. But at the end, you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our squirrel skiing and they turned out super cute. I always love yours and I especially love that you changed the colors and even added eyelashes. <laughs> Thank did, you. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. You could also change your drawings any way you want. You could also add a background. I kind
kind of added a background with these speed lines. It makes the squirrel look like it's going really fast. But you could add mountains or even trees or more squirrels or different animal skiing. You can also use different art supplies to color your drawings. Yeah, you don't have to use the same markers that we use, but if you do have the same set, our Art for Kids Hub markers, we used 103 brown for the main brown for our squirrels. I used 15 red for the hat, but you use pink. 89 is the dark pink. Mm -hmm. And then what was the two light pinks you used? 89 and 17. Yeah. And then we also used WG1 for shading on the bottom of our squirrel. Oh, and I also used 63. It's kind of this blue turquoise color. And 66 for the snow. Last, we used a white color pencil to add the spots on our squirrel. Yeah, it gives it a cute little texture. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a skiing squirrel with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different, but they both turned out awesome. Mm -hmm. That's because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.